In this video, we're going to look at Red Pocket Mobile and specifically using it with Windows Phone. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, we have Red Pocket right there. That is our SIM card, Red Pocket LTE. Now this is a uh, Nokia Lumia 1520. It's GSM unlocked. Uh, is of course manufactured by AT&T, but this phone here is GSM unlocked. Now the SIM I'm using is using the AT&T towers of uh, Red Pocket Mobile, the uh, GSMA plan. And so far, you know what? You know, I had AT&T service before this and it's pretty much the same, but even though I had AT&T service before, and you can set up an AT&T profile on your phone, of course, you will you have to change some settings. But let's start at the beginning. The first thing you need to do is purchase the SIM card that you need for your phone. Now, one thing I wanna make clear here is Red Pocket says, choose any major network. That is true. However, if you buy a SIM card for the GSMA, just MA meaning AT&T, CDMA is Verizon, GSMT is T-Mobile, T-Mobile Towers, and CDMAS is Sprint. All right. If I, which I did, uh, buy a SIM card for the GSMA, then you have to use a GSMA plan. Or, of course, you can do one of the uh, Red Pocket plans, which are actually pretty much the same as the uh, GSMA plans. But what you can't do, for example, is I have, again, a GSMA SIM card in this phone. Okay, which, again, you insert that the same way that you would any, any other SIM card. This is using a nano SIM, all right? So if I put the GSMA card in this phone, I have to purchase one of these plans. I cannot change my plan to a GSMT plan, you know, willy nilly just whenever I want, which is actually something I might do because this, they actually have some pretty good plans here. It's just that T-Mobile doesn't always work uh, in my area. All right. So when it says choose any major network, again, that's true. But if you want to sort of try out different networks, you're going to have to buy multiple SIMs and, you know, activate that SIM card. So after you put your SIM card in, and again, I use a GSMA SIM card, simply go online to goredpocket.com and go to activate. You activate your SIM. It's really easy, pretty self-explanatory. And then you add a plan to your account. Okay. Again, this is a no contract, which is the reason I like, it. you know, I'm sick and tired of contracts and uh, the plans are much better. You're not paying, you know, you're not paying access fees, which things like AT&T, they say, okay, you know, it's like $25 a phone. Yeah, it is plus $40 access fee, <laughs> or it's a $25 access fee and then $40 for the actual plan. So it's much more expensive uh, in, in most cases anyway, unless you get on a family plan, that, uh, that's a little different for the carriers. But focusing on Red Pocket, after you, after you have everything filled out, you'll need to know how to set up your Windows phone or any phone. Again, even though this is using the same AT&T towers, okay? It's just from Red Pocket. It's using the same AT&T towers. We still have to change some settings in order to use uh, mobile internet and our picture messages or MMS. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out the APN settings we need to apply to our Windows phone. And we are running Windows Phone 10, by the way. They actually have the instructions online for Windows Phone 8, they're not as clear for Windows Phone 10 because some of the names have changed. So we're going to go through exactly what you need to set up here. All right. So after you have inserted your Red Pocket SIM, you've went ahead and activated online. You've bought a plan. You'll want to probably start sending, uh, you know, picture messages and getting online. So what settings do we need to change? Well, here on Windows Phone 10, we can go to all settings. Then we want to head over to network and wireless because we have some uh, cellular and SIM settings that we want, that we have to change the APN settings. So go to cellular and SIM. There we go. And as you can see, I already have my profile set up the SIM red pocket SIM. This, the settings I'm giving you are for GSMA plans. Okay. So if you have the AT&T uh, or the GSMA red pocket SIM, these are the settings you will use. The settings will be different. The APN settings will be different if you use a GSMT. Okay, just be aware of that. And again, you know, I'll expand on what I was saying earlier. You know, if, if I wanted to try a GSMT plan, I can do that on this phone because again, it's GSM unlocked. I can use any SIM in this phone, but I can't use my GSMA SIM and buy a GSMT plan. What I would have to do is purchase another SIM 
pop that in here, activate it online. I can keep my current number or get another one, whatever you want to do. And then you could purchase your GSMT plan. All right. And if for some reason, GSMT, which again is T-Mobile, didn't work for you, you would purchase another SIM, say another GSMA SIM, pop that in, go online, activate it, add a plan to your account, and uh, you'd be right back. And again, you can port the number, just keep porting it over and over and over. Uh, yeah, this is a great way. Red Pocket is a great way to try out a bunch of different plans and a bunch of different carriers, again, without contracts. So anyway, um, you know, I like the GSMA service just because it's more reliable in my area, but I think I will try out a GSMT later on, but let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and go through our APN settings here. All right, so as long as you have a GSMA SIM on Windows Phone, we're in here in cellular data. SIM, what we want to come to is SIM settings. And in here you will see your phone number that will be assigned to you whenever you activate the scroll down here to internet APN setting, okay? So what you wanna do is click add an internet APN. And we already have one set up, so I'll just select this red pocket data uh, profile, click edit so, just so you can see the settings. So the first thing you want to do is give your profile a name, name it red pocket data. On your APN setting, type in reseller, leave the username, password blank, this doesn't, doesn't matter here, just leave it on, on PAP. And that's pretty much it. And click apply this profile and save it. All right, and there you go. Then whenever you go back, you'll see your internet APN is Red Pocket Data is applied. Okay, so let's then set up our MMS APN. Again, I already have it set up. You'll click on add an MMS APN and you'll type in the following. So we'll go in here. And for your profile name, name it Red Pocket MMS. Your APN will be reseller, username is blank, password is blank, type of sign-in info, PAP is fine. Now IP type is IPv4. Other settings, they won't work, all right? Your proxy port is 80. Your MMSC URL will be this right here. All right, so make sure you type it in exactly, the mmsc.mobile.att.net, okay? MMSC port is blank. Maximum MMS size. You can leave this blank. They actually suggest putting it on uh, 64. Uh, I've been using it without any uh, maximum size there. But these are the settings you'll want to put in. So again, look at that. Red Pocket MMS. You got reseller there. IPv4. Your proxy server. Proxy.mobile.att.net. Proxy port is 80. MMSC URL. HTTP colon slash slash mmsc.mobile.att.net and the other two are blank. Apply this profile, save it, and then go back. And then you will see your MMS APN, Red Pocket MMS applied. And that's all you have to do. Again, even though we're using the same AT&T towers that the, th that profile, this phone was set up for, uh, originally, it's not gonna work with a Red Pocket mobile SIM, even though we're using the same AT&T towers. Now, as far as service goes, you know, that's really, that was really the whole point of this video was uh, the settings you'll, you'll want to input here on Windows Phone 10. But uh, as far as the service goes, it's I haven't noticed any difference uh, than what I had originally, other than I had to set up a few things there. Um, the internet works pretty well. It's pretty speedy. Uh, of course, all that's going to depend on the actual plan that you purchase. And the cellular connection is just as strong as you can see. Uh, it's, well, it's on Red Pocket 4G now, but it will go to LTE here and there as well. So overall, pretty pleased with Red Pocket. I've only used the GSMA service so far, but the GSMT service and the others would be essentially the same. You'll still have to go in there and change those APN settings. And, and they have all this written down online. If you have a more a popular phone, uh, Android, or you know a, a Apple phone, iOS and iPhone, uh, they have applications that can actually do this for you. But, you know, us Windows Phone people, we are the zero, you know, the point zero zero one percent So just keep those things in mind if you're looking for a cellular carrier that has the same exact towers, the same exact service that you already have, but with much, much lower prices, okay? Red Pocket Mobile overall, pretty pleased with them so far. If I become unpleased with them, I will be sure to let everyone know.
All right, Red Pocket Mobile, go check them out. GoRedPocket.com, that's GoRedPocket.com.